God will use you just where you at. <laughs> um, the thing that I really, uh, uh, now this is important to me because I, I want people to experience your heart. And so this question is, is for to experience your heart. I, I set this one out to experience okay. your heart because okay. <laughs> um, they've experienced who you are living life. But okay. it's so much different when a Christian woman talks about her heart and she talks from her heart. But it's even more special when a woman that has uh, been called to millions of people that's been all over the world that, um, you know, just is able to speak to people because people in this world, in, in this day with the pandemic, with everything that's going on, they want to experience people's heart and not just word. Yeah. So this is what I said. I, 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 this question is, uh, is it easy being in Christ with so much going on in your life? Is it easy for you? You know me and you already know my answer. And I say, yeah, <laughs> you believe, you better believe it is easy because Christ Jesus had made it possible for me. He did everything. He, he took sin out the way. He took death out of the way, amen. He took poverty out of the way. He took sickness out of the way, out of the way. Yes, it's, it's easy being a Christian mm -hmm. with so much going on in life. Yes, it is. It's not the word of God says all things are possible mm -hmm. to him that believe. If you make it hard, yeah, you better believe it's going to be hard. Mm -hmm. But if you know that Christ have already paved the way for you to walk clearly you know it's not i'm not saying that things not going to be going to come easy but that's where your faith comes in at you have to know without a shadow of the doubt a, a doubt that christ has already defeated sickness disease poverty and wealth he already took care of all that and so for me as a Christian, I'm speaking about me because everybody ain't on my level, but that's okay. But mm -hmm. I'm here to let women know, yes, it's possible. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's possible to live in this, uh, the world that we, 20, what is this, 2021? Mm -hmm. And it's possible because God made it possible. Jesus made it possible for us. Mm -hmm. Without a doubt, yes. And it's like Acts 17, 20 says, it's, it says in 1728, it says, in him we live. In him, we move, and in him, we have our being. Enough said. So, see, see so, what I'm talking but, but about? When we talk, we talk about, we talk about Christian, we talk about Christian principles, right? Right. We, we, we talk, we ain't talking about what the world do. We talking about as us being Christians. And this is the reason why a lot of Christians are not coming forth like they're supposed to be, because they're in tradition. Right. I, I don't do, I don't do tradition. No. I set the standard. I set my own standard based on the word of God. Amen. And that's what we have to do. We need to get in the word of God for ourselves. Mm -hmm. We go to church and we always talk about what the preacher done said. Mm -hmm. But are you hearing what the preacher say? If the preacher says telling you in him, we live in him, we move and in him, we have our being. Mm -hmm. that's the word of God talking to you personally. Amen. So you get in Christ and you live, you get in Christ, you move and you get in Christ and have your being. Amen. I'm in this world, but I'm not of the world. Amen. Now see, that's it. That's what I'm talking about because <laughs> that's heart. You see, yes. we brought, yes. with the whole conversation came down to heart. Okay. And yes. so, you know, cause, you cause what, what's in our heart comes from comes through our mouth our way we look our attitude yes. and all of that and that's what's in the heart and so that's what women Amen. need to hear they need to hear the heart see because you were firm in that exactly. yeah, i can tell you that you can tell you can, i can tell you that with no doubt 100 percent. i don't have to you know play around with that i can walk in that you know and um that's come what, on that's what women need to hear i don't need you know all yeah. that extra I just need to know no. what my heart says. And what my heart says is what I'll be able to develop in all the other areas of my life. And it all comes together. Exactly. Right, right. See, it does. I think I'm saying it right, but I'm getting it. It really does. Mm -hmm. I, I know, we know what you're saying. We know the just of what you're saying. And just like uh, 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 talking about uh, 
uh, you know, living in Christ, the, uh, you know, you always got, you got to back it up with scripture, whatever you do in life. And it's at first John four and four, it says, ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them because greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. So we have to know that we live in the world, but we're not of the Lord, but we are children of God. Amen. And the greater one lives on the inside of us. That's who, that's who we're portraying anyway. Is Because a lot of times we have to learn how to get self out the way. Right. If we don't get self out the way, Jesus ain't going to come in and, 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 and make it happen. But no. we have to get self out of the way and know that the greater one lives on the inside of me. And we have to be bold enough to speak it out. It's not me living, but Christ in me. Amen. Amen. But, but the thing about it is life is so full of distractions. Oh my God, it'll pull you over. Distraction will pull you over here. You say you're going to do something. It's like I do. I be, you know, I have, I, I, I want to do things, you know, because, you know, being a woman, you know, you got so many things going on in your life and you try to feel it. You try to feel those things in, in a day, but you can't do that. But we just can't, as women, we cannot uh, uh, be distracted. And, and things that pre prevent you from giving your full attention to something, that's a distraction. Amen. That's a distraction. And just like you, you probably had a distraction this morning. See, yes, I did. you know, <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. But you came back. <laughs> you came back, amen. So you came back. You said it blocks your focus on what you're supposed to do. So we as women, so don't be distracted. Be, excuse me. Don't be distracted by what the world is doing. We cannot because that's a distraction. That's mm -hmm. what the devil is doing. Mm -hmm. But don't be distracted on what the world is doing. Amen. You can't do it. You just can't do it. <laughs> Amen. And finally, I got one last thing to say. And uh -huh. was, I really <laughs> want to know this one. <laughs> Uh, I've enjoyed this though. This has been this has been good because it's been real. See, people, you know, yeah. um, we're, we're given a word and we just kind of operate in that word. But when you get real, then people hear. Come on, you see what I'm yeah. saying? And so people are hearing and mm -hmm. they're understanding. And so what I wanted to finally say to you was, what is it? What is the personally? Because you've said everything has been personal. But what is the uh, personal thing that you would want women going? you know, seeking to live their life or to learn about mm -hmm. Christ? What is the personal thing that you would want them, um, women to know regardless of where they are in life? What is the personal thing Amen. that you can speak to them? Amen. Well, personally, but, but um, who I am personally, number one, mm -hmm. I'm a woman first. Mm -hmm. I'm a wife second. Mm -hmm. And then I'm a mother, mm -hmm. but the world has it backwards. They mm -hmm. want you to be a mother. They want you to be a wife and then you be a woman. No, that's not the order that God has called you. First, you have to be a woman. You have to know who you are first. Mm -hmm. There's so many women out there that, you know, they, they, they want marriage, but they don't want to be a woman. Mm -hmm. You got women out there acting like men, all buff, talking all hard. Hey, no, be a woman. That's who God made you to be. And you got men out there having sex changed to be a woman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's true. My, my God. So that's why I said women just don't want to be women no more. Why? Because we understand that it's because of sin. Sin, you know, the, the Satan is their father. And so that's what they're going to do. But we as women of God, first of God, we have to be women first. We got to know who we are as a woman. Have you ever thought about or have you ever sit back and think, who am I as a woman? Mm -hmm. You got to you got to answer these questions for yourself. Can't nobody tell you who you are. Amen. You got to go back to your maker. Mm -hmm. which is God. Just like I said, you got to go back to the manufacturer's, you know, manufacturer's uh, a, a book mm -hmm. and find out who you are. And our manufacturer book is the Bible. Amen. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you need to ask your maker God who you are as a woman. Mm -hmm. And then after you find out who you are as a woman, what's your next calling in life? Everybody want to be a wife. 
That's what, you know, you know, we as women, we want those, we want a man to propose to us because we are women and they're supposed to propose to us. And then we become that wife, but you can't become a wife if you don't know, if you don't know who you are as a woman first and, and what you're supposed to do as a woman, right. a woman have to know her body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At every level from, from, from a baby, then to childhood, then to, uh, adolescence and then to womanhood there's right. there's so many factors that you have to learn yourself mm -hmm. and a lot of women they they get into they get into this thing well i don't know who i am you better get into the word of god and find out who you are because church is not going to teach it to you mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and you have to know yourself as a wife what am i called to do as a wife you there to fulfill you know uh, uh your place as a wife for your husband Amen. You you got to be that homemaker. You just can't be out there preaching and ain't taking care of your, your husband. You cannot do that. Right. And not only that, then we're called to be mothers. Mm -hmm. Just in that order. We are mothers to our children. And like I am, I'm mother to my children. I'm mother to my, um, uh, my church family. And I'm a mother to the nations. Amen. I, I got an awesome role. Mm -hmm. And I function well in all three. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. You got to know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because if not, I'd be, I'd go crazy trying to trying to figure out what. But I have to know that. And that's the reason why I say I read. Mm -hmm. I read anything, anything about what I want to know, it's there for me. I'm I'm a I'm I love books. You know, my husband, he he's the type of person that he said, I don't need a whole lot of books, but I I, I got my uh, phone. I, everything I need to know is on my phone. But no. I'm a reader. Give me some books. And girl, I just like, oh my God, I go into Barnes and Noble. Girl, I get happy. Yeah. <laughs> because it because it's, it's exactly because it's a wealth of knowledge in there. Right. Give me some books and I, I can go through there. I can, I can underline, I can go back and oh, I just have, I just love books. And so, but we have to, we have to know who we are in order to know what we deserve. You know, there's, there's books on womanhood. There's, there's, there's books on wife and there's books on being a mother. If you don't know how to be a mother, ask somebody, Right. you know, be, be a mother to someone. And that's what I really love about you, Violetta, because you, you have, you have that motherly wisdom. And that's why, that's the reason why, you know, I always pray to God, you know, God send me some women in my life that I can learn from, you know, just because, you know, I'm a pastor's wife. And, and now that I'm a pastor's wife, that don't mean I can't learn from you, but I love your spirit because you have that mothering spirit. And that's what I so much love, loved about you. Even when Shakur was born, you know, I really didn't have, I was, you know, we was in ministry and, you know, I needed somebody to help me out with this baby. And plus I had, I had two of Sharice and Shakur, but Shakur came, you know, later, three years later, but you got sent you in my life specifically for Shakur. Mm -hmm. And I praise and thank God that you were there for me. You know, I gave you power of attorney when I went out of the country or, or I went <laughs> traveling. Who does that? You know, I didn't know you from nobody, but you came, but, but God, God sent you me and you, and, and I connected. I said, Oh, she's a mother. Mm -hmm. I can trust her with my baby. You can't trust everybody with your babies nowadays. Sure. But I praise yeah. and I thank God that you came to my life as a mother and, and you know, helped me with that child. And guess where she's at? She's in, in, in the military now mm -hmm. and she's a medic. Uh -huh. And she, just, she had just been uh, uh, deployed to New York City uh -huh. as, as a medic because they had to employ, uh, deploy them so they can help with the shots and things there in New York City. Uh -huh. so, so she's it. She's in the Bronx, New York. She's in Bronx, <laughs> New York. And she, girl, talking about a blessing. And that's because of the things that you have imparted to, into my child. And I thank you. I can't thank you enough for what you have done for me with that child. Because, you know, people were telling me, why you need another baby? I didn't know why I needed a baby in the first place. <laughs> but she, but she, she is, she is a child that God brought to me. She, she's loving. She, she's caring. She have the anointing in her life. And one thing about Shakur, she can, anything she set her hand to do, she does it. Mm -hmm. And she's not scared of anything, but that's because what you have imparted into her and what I have imparted to her, 
I am so proud of that girl that you ought to be proud of her too. I am especially <laughs> proud of her. I keep up with her on Facebook. She don't even know I'm her friend, but I keep up with her on Facebook because she was uh, yeah. a jewel. She was a jewel. She was just a few weeks old when I when I uh, first yeah. started taking care of her. And uh, she just became a part of my family for many years. And yeah. so, I don't even know if she even remembered me, but I remember her. She, I remember Trust her. me. She remember. I told her, I told her she had sent me a video of her in the snow there in New York and I said guess who guess who I'm going to be talking to today I'll be interviewed by today's Violetta she said oh tell Miss Violetta I said oh, she's excited <laughs> it's she, been she, it's been, it is. she is uh, yeah I, I remember her all my life I remember oh, yes. her you know, yeah, but, uh, yeah. I do have a motherly spirit. Everybody says I you do have do. a motherly spirit, and you really I'm do it. And, and 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 for me personally, I just want to just thank you for that. And then not only that, as a mother, you you know, uh, having that mothering spirit, you even came to me in a time that I needed. That you had found um, Natalie. Yes, you, Natalie, and <laughs> and Janet. Y'all were my y'all were my three, and whatever Miss <laughs> Bear wanted. Miss Janet got it for me. Miss Violetta got it for me. And Miss Natalie did it for me. Miss <laughs> Natalie had my hair on point. <laughs> and then not only uh, Natalie having my hair on point, she, she was, uh, Violetta would bring her to the house sometime at two or three o'clock in the morning to make sure I was together. And Miss Violetta, whatever I needed, she, she seen that I needed some shoes. She sees I needed some, some coats. I, I bought fur coats from Violetta. Violetta was a mama. <laughs> she made sure I was to get, and I still have that fur coat, okay? <laughs> and I can well, really use it. Yeah, I can really use it in uh, uh, Vegas right now because Phoenix, you know, you got to go up north. In order it's to, cold up there where you are, don't you? Girl, you better believe it. Cold and wind. It snowed. We were in the snow, snow not too long ago. Oh, really? Yeah, you, have to, you have to drive up to it, though. Yeah, but I just praise and thank God for you. And then Miss Janet, by her being from, um, I love yeah. international women. Yeah. Yeah, being her from England, you know, teaching me, teaching, teaching and showing me, you know, the proper etiquette, how to drink tea, how to have the scones, how to have the, the you know, <laughs> oh, my God. Talking about a mother in spirit, y'all need to talk to Miss Violetta. <laughs> Because Miss Violetta got it going on as a woman. She knows who she is as a woman. She knows she, who she is as a wife. And she really knows who she is as a mother. So from my heart, Miss Violetta, I just want to praise and thank God for you. Well, you know, I know, some things, I know some things <laughs> have transpired in life, you know, you know, by you, by you, you know, uh, 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 um, you know, leaving the ministries. But, you know, those things I don't even care about no more. All I, I the things that you have. Yeah, but the things that you have imparted to me, the things that you have uh, did for me in life, my God, it cannot be replaced. Every time I see you, you know, even though sometimes we were in the stores and seemed like you didn't want to talk to me, I thought God, I said, I, I thank God for her. You know, Janice spoke, but Miss Violetta, I don't know what was wrong with Miss Violetta, but I, I said, I was having one of my moments, y'all. I was having a moment, and, 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 and um, so I was having one of my moments. What one of my yeah. better moments. But That's I was okay. One of my moments, not because I didn't love Bear. Right. Because Bear right. has always been like, um, <laughs> she's just been one of those people that you know i just gravitated toward yeah so i asked her i said can can you mentor me because i wanted yeah. to know more about god and i can yes, see god yeah. in her, you know what i'm saying and i i have a serving heart i can serve just about anything yeah. oh you, you know, did I, I can i serve mean you were the best and i wanted to be of excellence when i served someone and you were of excellence so um girl the girl is the best <laughs> anything i needed I, I, we needed, we did shopping spree. Remember the shopping yeah, spree? spree yeah. Guess, who, guess who was my secretary? <laughs> she, was she was all things to all men that she wins. She won me over. <laughs> and, and I was really, I was, you know, but, but my thing was, it was all about love anyway. Yeah, and I said, whatever I do, I'm going to love the hell out of that woman. <laughs> and I'm going to love the hell out of her like, too. Okay. We had, we had, we had, Great and good times. I oh can tell you my God! One time they had me take her to the office and take a pen and put it on the dress so that the dress, the dress, the dress on the little spot on the dress. I said, "What?" I didn't even see it. She said, "Look right there. You take this pen here and put it on." I mean, she's taught me some things. Okay, so um, and, and so, so she would look good. We, 
I learned how to serve and yeah. I can say this <laughs> that um I should have asked her a long time ago to come speak, but I do That's know okay. this that I uh that she loves me and I love yeah. her. Yeah. So it don't matter if we see each other 10 years from now or tomorrow or the next day or whatever, there's a deep love and abiding respect. Amen. Each other. And that's what's important. And I wanted her to come on today because I wanted her to show you what it is to be humble, but yet to be strong and be able to <laughs> give the word to women. Because that's what you did today for the women. Praise I'm, God. I'm just 